Oh, Mike, this... This is totally unnecessary. My, my granny said it's, it's not enough to just show up. You gotta bring something to the party. <laughs> Some party. The Return of the Spy? Yeah, it's my Bible. Also a fitting tribute to a, a brave lady who decided to come back and face the music. You know what? I learned something about myself while I was gone. No? What's that? I learned that I'm a good friend. I'm a good parent. I'm a fine editor. But as an exile, I, I'm a complete washout. Mm. Living undercover takes practice. It's not for me, Mike. I'm sort of the immediate gratification type. Brooke, I'm sure you made the right decision coming back. Yeah. Tad didn't strong arm you. Tad just told me what I really knew all along. You know, I mean, whatever the outcome of this trial is going to be, I have to see it through. I have to take responsibility for my actions. To do anything else would give my son the wrong message. I just, I just regret that, that I involved you. Oh, forget about it. No, you and Dimitri, you took enormous risks to help me. Speaking solo, I do it again in a Moscow minute. Here. I don't think I'm going to be needing phony passports anymore, so I guess you, you know, should just destroy them. Oh, burning phony documents in a no-burn state? Uh, <laughs> EPA without my butt. Uh, not to worry, I'll find a nice little anonymous landfill. You take care of yourself. I will. Thanks for the book. Yeah. I'm certainly glad to see you're up to visitors. Hope you can stay on one more. Jack, I know what this looks like. If you just give Don't me a minute, another I... Word, Not another word. You gave us a pretty bad scare, you know that. I didn't But mean... you're on the fast track to recovery now, and that is all that matters. I, for one, am very glad to see you back from a no-man's land. I think Joe Martin did us all a favor when he lifted that quarantine. Those disposable designer duds did absolutely nothing for me. I'm, I'm just too hippie, you know? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm going to be checking out of the Grand Hotel here very shortly. I hope they let me out, too. I really want to get this trial over with, one way or the other. I think you should ease off on the gas just a little bit there, Brooke. You just came through a major trauma here. I think you should take some time. Recuperate, regain your strength. Besides, if you have too miraculous a recovery, it might just make our Judge Foster a little bit suspicious, you know? So why don't you take some time on the road back to good health? Maybe you could, uh... Spend some time catching up on your reading. Oh, I'll try to find something better in the gift shop. Did anybody ever tell you you have a wonderful bedside manner? Shh. Not in front of the children. I am anxious to get this trial started again, Jack. I, I know you are. But as DA, I must tell you that you should be glad that the wheels of justice grind a little slowly from time to time. And as your friend, I wish you the best of luck. Anyway, I need to go. You, I want you to take the best care of yourself. You know how, okay? I will. You do. I hand it to you, Montgomery. That was a one hell of an act you put on it. Well, now, Mike, that shows you just how wrong you can be, because that was no act at all. Uh, it's a circus sideshow. Jackson Montgomery, all-around good guy, half-letter of a lawman. Be a trip to see what side of the court you stand on. Oh, I'm on Brooke's side. All the way. Brooke and I go back a long, long ways, Mike. I took care of Jamie when he was first born. And I do not want that child to have to see his mother carted off to prison. 
On the other hand, I have a job to do. I'm underestimating you, Montgomery. And that's because you like to live dangerously. Welcome back to the game, Counselor. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. I'm not through with you yet. You got a search warrant, Counselor? Don't need one, Mike. You pick my pocket, I'm busted. You get Eric all to yourself. Yeah, well, that may be true, but the very idea of patting you down, it's just... Phew. What's this about? I saw Brooke give you something. Now, didn't I? You gonna read me my rights? No, I'm gonna wish you happy birthday, Mike. Those were birthday cards that Brooke gave you, weren't they? Or maybe they were postcards from her recent travels. Just don't get all sentimental over them. You wouldn't want them to fall into the wrong hands, now, would you? I can understand you being good to Brooke, but why me? Well, even a prisoner can be paroled, Mike. You see, what I want is a final showdown. No cheating by coming back from the dead next time. Any other reason you're so good to me? Sure. You know the old adage. Keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. You know something? We'd be a hell to beat if we ever found ourselves on the same side. Not likely. Not while we're both in love with Erica. May the better man win. Keep your powder dry. thinking about daddy's promise to keep me out of jail daddy can do anything he's like superman you love your daddy don't you he's the best yeah well he thinks you're pretty special too you know it that's why he flew halfway around the world to bring you home you know but there's some things even daddy can't do like what well, like, um, leap tall buildings in a single bound, or outrun a train. No, listen, your daddy is one of the good guys. He really is. But it's going to be up to the jury to decide whether or not I go to prison. You mean not even daddy can change their minds? <sighs> I tell you. He's one great guy, but at the same time, I know if anybody could pull this out of the fire, he can. And you know what? That's why I'm anxious to start this trial again. How about you? Hmm? Are you ready? I don't have to leave home again, right? Never, ever, ever. Then yeah, I'm ready. I guess. There might be some not-so-nice things in the news, and your friends may hear their parents talking. So I want you to promise me to stick by Jamie no matter what, okay? I promise. Okay. No one's going to diss you while I'm around. And that goes for me, double. Hey, where would I be without the men in, in my life? You guys are good question. How are you doing? Okay, okay. I'm, uh... I guess, uh, ready to face the inevitable, if you're if you're up to it. Oh, I'm up, I'm up. No more playing nice. It's time we start fighting back. 